Hi, everyone from Sustainable Merton and Hubbub. We are so excited that you are interested in getting involved in our Arts Trail competition to celebrate the upcoming Recycling on the Go campaign called Wimbledon in the Loop. My name is Rachel, and I am the Community Champions Project Manager for Sustainable Merton. So first things first, what is Wimbledon in the Loop? Well, Sustainable Merton has teamed up with award-winning charity Hubbub, Merton Council, and Love, Love Wimbledon to make recycling easy and fun while you're out and about on the go in Wimbledon. Launching in May 2021, Wimbledon in the Loop is funded by Evion and will introduce colorful new recycling brands to the streets of Wimbledon. We want to remind people how important recycling is and make it as easy as possible to recycle while on the go. Did you know that in 2019, an estimated 8 billion drinks containers were thrown into landfill, littered or burned in the UK? So to put that into some context, it's 250 per second or 126 for every single person across the year. So you can really see how big an issue this is. On the go consumption is only going to increase um, as we ease out of lockdown. So there is no better time to help Merton residents recycle correctly. And I don't know about you, but many people find it confusing to figure out what can or can't be recycled when you're on the go. I certainly do. So the goal of this project is to make on the go recycling as easy as possible in order to save plastic bottles and cans from going to waste. So as I mentioned, to make recycling simple, Wimbledon in the Loop is introducing a colorful network of bins throughout Wimbledon Town Centre. So each yellow dot on this map corresponds to um, the first wave of new bins that are going to be installed, with more coming throughout the summer. And as you can see here, exactly what the new bins are going to look like. Empty bottles and cans can go in recycling and everything else should stay out. Um, and if you're ever confused about this, just remember the phrase, if in doubt, keep it out. Um, when stuff ends up in recycling that shouldn't be there, this is what's called contamination. And if contamination gets too high, the recycling plant isn't able to process it. And that's why it's really important that only those items that can be recycled end up in the recycling bin. So why should we recycle? Well, it reduces waste sent to landfill or incineration or even worse, littered. Um, it takes less energy um, to make things out of recycled materials and reduces the amount of plastics and aluminum required to make new products. And it supports the circular economy, minimizing the amount of virgin resources we have to take from our planet. And of course, when we recycle, we feel good about it too. So the goals of In The Loop are to first create a system where people are recycling on the go correctly that will remain in place for a long time. We want to raise awareness of recycling correctly and why it's important to tackle the waste issue. We want to change behaviors to reduce contamination levels in recycling bins. And we want to test this system out in at the Wimbledon Tennis Championships when Wimbledon will be experiencing a really high footfall. And of course, the end goal, the overarching goal of, of the um, project is to save resources because more things are recycled. So where do you come in? Well, you can spread the word about these colorful new bins and where they are and why, why they're important. You can remind your friends and family that the bins are for empty can cans and bottles only, and when in doubt, keep it out. You can also reduce the need to recycle in the first place by using a reusable bottle or cup. And one way to do this is to download what's called the refill app uh, to find out where you can get your water bottle or coffee cup refilled while out and about for free. <laughs> 